So I recently damaged my right hand. I had broke it many years ago in a fight. It's been really giving me trouble more recently. And so I wanted to do a project that I could use my left hand on, and I wanted to do something that was meditative. We're dealing with so many challenges right now and struggles. I started to do some smaller drawings that became very almost therapeutic for me to deal with the different challenges we're dealing with. And I decided to do a larger piece, and the first one was of Catherine Ruan, who draws herself and does beautiful drawings. I get lost in this, mostly working with my left hand, which enables me to work all day on these. This was a project I wanted to do now, and it came organically, in part because of the injury of my hand, and in part because I wanted to do drawings, but also because I have three daughters, I had a wonderful stepmom in my life, my mother, I've been surrounded by females, and I've noticed throughout my life how they are so often a supporting role to men who are doing important things and following their dreams. I have a wonderful wife, Catherine, who supports me. So this series, in a way, is a way to pay tribute to the women in the world and uh, do something that I've wanted to do for some time, but again, I wanted to do it in a more organic way. And for some reason, this feels like the right time to do it. So this paper I'm using is four-ply Strathmore vellum, which is actually plant-based material that's been bleached, but the pencil goes into this paper in a way that I can continue to add more and more layers in particularly dark areas, and you don't get the burnish that you would get with a different kind of paper. I'm trying to make marks on this that are not repeated. Working with my left hand, there's a certain chaos and a certain randomness to this that I want, and it's indicative or analogous to my mental process. I have a certain psychology, you know, in dealing with all this that I want to be expressed in the mark making and in the drawing. I don't want it to be systematic or a certain formula, I want it to be chaotic. And yet I want to create something that's recognizable and hopefully beautiful. And people might be able to relate to beauty in the chaos. And it might be able to relate to something that's poetic and calming and beautiful. Yet if it's looked at closely, you'll see the chaos and the anxiety. So I want those, that, that, that dichotomy to exist in these drawings. Mm -hmm. 